Once upon a time, there was a man up Finmark Way who caught himself a white bear. And he decided that he was going to give this bear to the king of Denmark as a present. So the man set off with his bear and they journeyed through the winter days until it was Christmas Eve and they found themselves on the Dovrefjell, which is a mountain range in Norway, without anywhere to stay. So as it was coming on night, the man decided that he needed to find somewhere to sleep and he saw a farmhouse. Um, and he and the bear went over to the farmhouse and knocked on the door. And the door was opened by the owner of the house, whose name was Halvor. And Halvor said, can, can I help you? Um, and the man said, well, I and my bear are traveling and we wondered if we could stay the night with you. We won't be any trouble. And Halvor said, oh, I wish, I wish we could let you stay here. But the thing is, we don't even stay here on Christmas Eve because every Christmas Eve, a bunch of trolls come down from the mountains and they take over our house and they trash everything and they have a huge feast and we just can't stay here for that. And the man thought about this and he looked out where it was on the mountains when it was where it was kind of beginning to snow and it was cold and he said, listen, uh, we don't mind staying here. It, it's no trouble. I'll stay in the storeroom and my bear will sleep by the fire and we don't mind the trolls. And Halvar tried to persuade him. No, no, you come with us. Come, we have some caves that we go to. And, but the man begged him so often that finally Halvor just said, all right, your funeral, uh, you can stay here if you really want to. And Halvor and his household all packed up and headed for the hills. Before they'd gone, they had set up a feast for the trolls. They'd laid the tables and set out all sorts of food. Um, the, the man sat down by the fire. He didn't touch the food. And the bear lay down by the fire and they waited. And before long, along came the trolls. And there were big trolls and there were little trolls and there were trolls with long noses. And there were huge trolls and there were tiny trolls, destructive trolls, laughing trolls, all kinds of trolls. And they ran into the house and shrieking and laughing. And they smashed things and they gobbled down the food as quickly as they could. Some of them saw the man sitting by the fire and they offered him some of the food, but the man simply shook his head and again sat and waited, whereas the bear had fallen asleep. So before long, the youngest troll, a little child troll, noticed the bear and crept up to the bear and was sort of like, kitty, I found myself a kitty, 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 hello kitty, hi kitty. And the little troll took a stick with a sausage on the end of it and it took it and whacked the bear on the nose and said, kitty, you want a sausage? You want a sausage, kitty? Well, the bear reared up and began to claw amongst the trolls and bite amongst the trolls. And the bear just ran all over the farmhouse, chasing trolls and trolls were flying up into the air and bits of trolls were flying up into the air. And the trolls were screaming and the trolls were bleeding and the trolls flung themselves at the bear trying to stop it, but the bear hardly noticed them continuing to roar and slash amongst them until finally the trolls had had enough and they ran out of the house into the night. And then the bear lay down by the fire again. So the next morning, Halvor and his household returned and they found the man and the bear by the fire. And Halvor said, the trolls, they did turn up. It looks like they did. Oh, yes, said the man. They, they absolutely turned up. And I don't think they're going to turn up again. I think this may be your last year of trolls. But just in case they do turn up and they come and talk to you at all, tell them that the big cat is still here. All right, said Halvor, and, and the man and the bear took their leave, and off they went to meet the king of Denmark. 
So a year passed and everything went as everything always went until the next Christmas Eve. Halvor, around midday, was out in the woods gathering wood for the fire because he kind of assumed that the trolls would be coming after all. And as he was gathering the wood, he heard a voice calling from behind a tree. Halvor! Halvor! And Halvor looked all around and he said, Yes? I, I need to talk to you. Come over here. Just I need to talk to you. Oh, okay. What, what do you need to talk about? We need to ask you something. All right. Do you still have that big cat? And at first, Halvor wasn't sure what the troll meant, for it was definitely a troll. But then he remembered last Christmas, and he said, yes. Yes, we do have that big cat still. <gasps> you still have that cat? Oh, well, oh no, really? You still have it? Yes, we do. And, and, and you know what? What? D do you know what? What? Do you know what? 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 It had kittens! And the troll screamed and leapt up into the air and ran off into the woods, yelling behind it as it went, We will not be visiting you at Christmas Eve this year, Halvor! And indeed, they didn't, and they never did again. Halvor and his household could celebrate Christmas every year without the trolls.